Whenever I stop and take a breath, she's like this. And I'm looking at back at her like this. And she's like this. And I'm like this. So I said, ma'am, are you okay? <laughs> she says, mm-hmm. Well, I'm just going to get these photos and then I'm going to get out, okay? I want people about five minutes, or maybe less than that. Wait, let me swallow this orange before I choke. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and to all of my subscribers welcome back again to all of you who have not subscribed to my channel as of yet welcome to you as well today I decided I would make a video and show you guys some of the things that I encountered doing field inspection at these homes these are not for commercial this is only for homes and the reason why I decided to do this is because Today, I ran across something that I found was a very funny, or at least a little interesting at the most to me, and I decided that, you know what, this is a good thing for me to share with you guys and get some laughs, okay? So who don't want to laugh? Who don't need to laugh? Laughing makes life better. Maybe you guys have funny stories that you can tell as well. If so, drop it down in the comment section because you know I like to laugh. Okay, so we're going to just go on in. My first one I'm gonna talk about is this lady. I had to go to this lady's house for an outside inspection. And I always do a courtesy knock. So I did my little knock, 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 knock on the door. No one answered. I gave it a minute because you know I wanna make sure that they know that I'm out there just in case someone is in the house, even though I did not see a car. So I knocked again and then someone at a window said, Huh? <laughs> and I turned and looked at the window and it was a lady in the window. She, of course, she had let the glass up and she was in between me and the screen. And uh, I introduced myself, let her know why I was out there. You know, I'm just out here to do a couple of outside pictures for the insurance carrier. Won't take me no more than about five or six minutes at the most and I'll be out of here. And she was like, okay, that's fine. Is my information on that paper you have in your hand? And I said, it sure is. All of your information, all the way down to your policy number. And she was like, oh, okay, can I see it? Okay, so now bear in mind now, she's sitting in the window like this. So I walk up to the window and I take the paper and I hold it up so she can see what's on the paper. She's like, To me, it felt like two minutes at least, if not three. And then when she finished doing that, she does. I can't see that. Now you can imagine how my reaction was. When she said it, I was like. And I said, well, let me pull it up a little closer for you. And I get it closer to the wonder. And she's like. I still can't see that. <laughs> I was stunned at that point. I didn't know whether to continue to take the pictures or what was about to happen. In my mind, I'm like, Lord, what's going on right now? So I was like, okay, so I understand you don't see what's on the paperwork. Your name, blah, 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 blah. Your policy number, blah, 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 blah. It has your, your address on here, blah, 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 blah. This is your address, right? She's like, yeah, it's my address. I said, okay, and it also has your insurance agency at the bottom and I gave her the insurance agency's name she's like well yeah that's mine but I just can't see it I was like oh, okay well I understand it I'm just gonna go ahead and get these pictures okay she was like <laughs> she didn't say okay she was just <laughs> so I turned around and I was like 
Did you get these pictures as fast as you can? Please, and get out of here. <laughs> I had another one where I'm assuming that the insurance carrier did not think anyone lived in the house because it was supposed to have been a checkup on the home. Same thing, all the same basic photos. Get them done, get it quickly, and get out of there. So when I get up to this house, I can tell, you know, as, as least I thought I could tell by what was going on on the outside, you know, the grass was up high, it was stuff everywhere. And as I was climbing the hill to walk up to the door, I started to smell this stench, right? And it's a lot of stuff on the porch, boxes upon boxes of food on the porch, and it's rotten cabbages, all types of stuff. I'm talking about the smell was out of here. And I was like, okay, so apparently no one lives here, but just in case, you know, I'm always gonna do my little tap first. So I'm just like, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> and as soon as I tapped, this man comes to the door. Now, he's an older foreign man came to the door. I was shocked because I was under the impression myself, no one could possibly be living in this house. And I introduced myself, tell him why I'm there, and he doesn't say a word. And I asked him, uh, is there a way for me to get access to the back of the house? Cause I see there's a gate on the side and he comes out of the house. He never says a word. When he walks out, he had on a trench coat. Okay, so now you guys already know where I live. Now, of course we weren't having a heat wave on that day, but it was extremely hot. And he comes out with a trench coat on. The bottom of it looked like he had been dragging it through the mud. He had so many stains on this coat. I was thinking to myself, is he a squatter? <laughs> Does he even belong at this house? I didn't know. But once he went to coming down the stairs to actually open the side gate, of course, you know, he didn't have a key. The gate was not locked but it was closed, so you know, that's why I mentioned it in the first place. When he comes down to open the gate, I couldn't distinguish whether I was still smelling what was on the porch or whether I was smelling him, but he never said a word. And when he stepped back for me to go in the back, when I stopped to get something out of my little pouch, he bumped into me. I turned around and looked and he was standing there, just staring. So every step I made, he was on my tail. Ask me how fast I got those photos. That was, I think, the most weirdest encounter I have ever had. Every step I made, he was literally there. I could hear him breathing. I can hear the coat. I couldn't get away from the smell. And you know what? <laughs> oh. I'm having flashbacks. Wait, hold up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. I had a lady that was very interesting to me, and I don't know what her issue was at all. I pulled up to this house. It was a very nice house. Might have been two and a half stories tall. I don't know, sitting halfway up on a hill. I pull up, get out. There's no car up under the porch. And I went around to try to knock on the door. Nobody answered. So I went out to proceed to take the photos. And I heard like some rumbling. So I looked back around the corner of the house and I said, well, somebody's in there. So just in case I didn't give them time to come to the door. Cause you know, if you run across a huge home, sometimes they may be upstairs somewhere. And, and now they're wondering, did I hear somebody at the door? So I go back around the side of the house and I tap on the door again. And this time, no one answered, but I could feel something. You know how you can see something like in your peripheral vision? So I turned and looked and she was sitting in the window, just looking at me in the window. So I introduced myself and told her what I was there for. She didn't mumble a word, but she was eating. So, you know, today when I left out, I had cut up me some grapefruit and some oranges in case I got hungry while I'm out on the road. So I'm gonna show you how she was doing in the window. Whenever I stop and take a breath, she's like this. And I'm looking at back
back at her like this. And she's like this. And I'm like this. So I said, ma'am, are you okay? And she says, mm-hmm. Well, I'm just gonna get these photos and then I'm gonna get out, okay? I won't be for about five minutes, or maybe less than that. <laughs> Wait, let me swallow this orange before I choke. <laughs> that lady was determined not to talk, but I must have appeared very curious to her. The way she was looking at me through that window. Now tell me if that was not a strange encounter. Now this next house wasn't actually too strange. I knew someone was there. There was no peeking out the window. <laughs> Let me explain to you what happened. So I roll up on this neighborhood and there was only a few cars on the street, period. And they were down a little piece from the actual house that I was stopping at. But there was a four Tundra I want to say sitting in front of the house, you know, on the sidewalk. It was directly in front of the house, so I knew, you know, it possibly belonged to someone who was inside. So I walk up to the door, I get up there, ring the ring bell, ding. I give it a minute because I thought I heard something. So I rung it again, and then I can hear someone coming because apparently the floors were wood because it was they were crackling. You know, it was a crack. You know what wood floors sound like when, when it's crackling. So as the person was getting closer to the door, the crackling got louder. It was like, clack, 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 clack. And I can literally hear them stop at the door. I'm standing on this side of the door. They're on that side of the door. That's where the footsteps stopped. Nobody said nothing. Now, normally, when I run across some stuff like that, first thing I do is uh, just go on ahead and go about my business and get my pictures and get on out of there. If they don't come outside, they don't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to get them and go on ahead. But this was so curious to me, and I knew he was at the door, had to be looking at me through the peephole. Uh, so I just said, hello, right into the hole. Hello. Not a word. <laughs> he had a package on the doorstep there. Looked like it was from Amazon or whatever. So I went to step off the porch and I said, girl, go on here to get these pictures and get up out of here. Because <laughs> you ain't got time for none of this nonsense. So I went on ahead and proceeded to get my pictures. I even had to do a sketch for this house on the outside. And when I got ready to go, when I got down off of the driveway and hit the street and went to go on to get in my car before I can get in the car, I heard the door open. I'm like, <laughs> I turned so fast to see what was happening. And this guy opened the door, reached down, got his packages, and went back in. I was just like, you know what? <laughs> I know you weren't trying to creep up to that door. I I, I know you wasn't. You know what? <laughs> Let me stop before I, before, I, before I say wrong thing. But the floors was crackling for a reason. And I knew he was couldn't have been trying to creep up to that door. I knew you were there. <laughs> this one, I don't know if I mentioned it before in another video, but it was hilarious after the fact. So I'm just gonna share it with you guys today anyway. And I went to this location. And I get to the house and it's like three, four cars in the driveway. It's cars all on the street, you know. You can hear music playing, you can hear TVs going. So, you know, I know people's in the house and dogs barking from around the back. So I, I knew I wasn't going back there if nobody had let me go back there. So I go and knock on the door and nobody says nothing. Then I knocked again and I could see the curtain move from the corner. So when I saw the curtain move, I knew somebody was there. So I thought maybe somebody was gonna come around to the door. And then I heard this child and the child says, Ma, there's a man at the front door. Okay. She's like, what? There's a man at the front door. Then the mom, well, be quiet then. 
I said, you know what? I'm finna go ahead and get these pictures. That dog was losing it. So I went on ahead and got all the pictures that I needed to get. I'm talking about, I don't even think it took me two minutes. I was snap, 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 and back to the car. Like, this is too much. I gotta get out of here. And these dogs sounded like if they could cut loose, it was about to be a problem. So that brings me to today. I go to this house and I pull up and as soon as I get out of the car, I hear a lot of hammers and whatever was going on. I hear somebody laughing and talking inside of the house. Now the driveway had a car sitting in the driveway and it was a truck parked on the street. So I said, okay, well somebody's here. So I go up to the door and as I get to the door, it's extremely loud. They're laughing and talking. I hear a little taste of a low taste of music playing and the hammer going in the house. So I ring the doorbell. When I ring the doorbell, it kind of stopped for a little bit, like a, just a little taste. Maybe as though they was thinking, is somebody at the door? But then they proceeded to do what they were doing. I said, okay, so they must don't realize somebody's really out here. So I rung it again. <laughs> and this time when I rung the bell, everything stopped. I heard what sounded like maybe a footstep or two. But other than that, it was completely quiet. Nothing was happening. And I was like, now, it, it, now you know what? Here we go again. Look, just be nice enough to just come to the door. If you're not coming to the door, we're going to still get these pictures. If you do not come outside, and for all of you who are new to this game, if a person does not come outside, and all you're doing is taking outside photos, and you are required to do a courtesy knock, as a matter of fact, even if you are not required to do a courtesy knock or to ring a doorbell, it's always the nice and the polite thing to do, being that you have stepped into someone's yard. So when you go up to the door, always at least knock or ring the doorbell. So if they don't answer, as long as nobody comes out and says, get up out of this yard, go ahead and get your pictures. Because they know you're there, they hear you. And so I stood there like, I know I hear somebody thinking to myself, I know I hear y'all in there. I, I heard all of the noise, but I know I hear someone in there kind of talking. And then out of the blue, I heard, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> I said, girl, get these pictures. How many of you have ran across these types of situations while you're out taking pictures outside of people's homes? I know I heard somebody tell me before that someone came out and literally ran them out of the yard. Okay. So how many of you have had things that are not so aggressive and they just don't respond to you? Please feel free to drop it in the comment section because I need some laughs too, okay? But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, okay? Keep your head up, stay strong, keep your peace. Don't let nobody take it from you. Enjoy your days, enjoy the rest of your week. And until next time, enjoy the rest of your night.